Hello my DJ viewers, welcome to my vlog. We are now here in Denver International Airport. This is approximately 25 miles northeast of no downtown Denver, Colorado. We'll be staying here in Romada by Wyndham Denver International Airport Hotel, which is conveniently located minutes from the Mile High City's worldly destinations. The hotel provides free Wi-Fi internet access, free breakfast, and they also offer airport shuttle service. We will be going to Denver Central Market, which is a popular food hall located in the rear north or Rhino neighborhood of near Denver, Colorado. The River North Art District, or Rhino, is a vibrant neighborhood located just north of downtown Denver. It is known for its thriving art scene and is home to numerous art galleries, studios, and street art. The neighborhood holds the popular First Friday Art Walks where galleries and studios open their doors to the public. It is also a hub for craft breweries and distilleries, making it a popular destination for beer and spirits enthusiasts. The neighborhood boasts a diverse culinary scene with a variety of restaurants, cafes, and food trucks. We are now entering 16th Street in Denver, Colorado. The most notable feature of 16th Street is the 16th Street Mall, a pedestrian-only mall that stretches for about 1.25 miles along 16th Street. The mall is lined with shops, restaurants, cafes, and entertainment venues. Okay, this is the, we call it the 16th Street Mall, which is you can ride a bus for free the whole day. This is the stretch of 16th Street Mall. That's the free mall ride, 24 hours. The 16th Street Mall is serviced by the free Mall Ride Shuttle, which runs the entire length of the mall. The shuttle operates daily and provides free transportation for pedestrians, making it convenient to explore the area. It also offers a wide range of shopping options including major retailers, boutique shops, and souvenir stores. There are also numerous dining establishments ranging from casual eateries to upscale restaurants offering a variety of cuisines. Along 16th Street, you can find various entertainment venues such as theaters, cinemas, and live music venues. Additionally, there are several notable attractions nearby, including the Denver Pavilion Shopping Center, the Denver Center for the Performing Arts, and the Colorado State Capitol. We are now going to Union Station here in Denver. This is a historic transportation hub and a popular destination in the city.
It was originally built in 1881 and served as a major railway station connecting Denver to the rest of the country. It has undergone extensive renovations and now serves as a multimodal transportation center and a vibrant gathering place. The Union Station houses the Crawford Hotel, a boutique hotel that seamlessly blends modern amenities with historic charm. The Union Station is not only a transportation hub, but also a destination in itself, offering a mix of history, architecture, dining, shopping, and entertainment. It is worth visiting to experience the unique charm and energy of this iconic Denver landmark. going to explore the Denver Art Museum. The museum's iconic building is an architectural landmark. This is the Frederick C. Hamilton Building. It is known for its unique angular design and titanium-clad exterior. The museum also includes the original North Building, which has a more traditional architectural style. The Denver Art Museum hosts a variety of temporary exhibitions throughout the year showcasing both international and local artists. These exhibitions cover a wide range of artistic styles, themes, and time periods. The Denver Art Museum has amenities such as a cafe, a restaurant, a gift shop, and a library. It also has spaces available for private events and rentals. We're now here in the Civic Center complex in Denver. This is a significant cultural and governmental hub located in downtown in the Denver. Art Museum. It's very close to the Civic Center Cultural Complex. And the other one is the Public Library. The Civic Center Complex is home to several cultural institutions, including the Denver Art Museum, the Denver Public Library's Central Branch, and the History Colorado Center. These institutions offer a range of exhibits, programs, and resources for visitors to explore art, history, and literature. The centerpiece of the Civic Center Complex is Civic Center Park a public park known for its beautiful landscaping, fountains, and statues. The park hosts various events and festivals throughout the year, including concerts, art exhibits, and food festivals. Now we're going to the Denver Capitol. It is also known as the Colorado State Capitol. This is the seat of government for the state of Colorado in the United States. The Capitol building is an iconic neoclassical structure that was constructed in the late 19th century. It features a distinctive gold-plated dome, which is made of real gold leaf. The building's design was inspired by United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. Uh, altitude sickness, they get to drink lots of water. 
I blame people over here because it's a great view of the mountains except for it's cloudy. There's that Margo I was telling you about. See that? Oh. Rain coming down? Yeah, do, do, okay. Yeah, but it actually might be touching the ground, but that's kind of what it looks like. Evil fingers coming down. When it's sunny behind it, you can really see that weird effect. Mm -hmm. And what used to be right here in the middle was a Civil War soldier. It was torn down during the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, the only problem is they got it wrong because it was a Union soldier, not a Confederate soldier. That did not sustain any damage. To That's the Basilica right there. The Basilica Cathedral of Immaculate Conception. This is along Colfax Avenue. All the way down over there. That's the Basilica. And the weather right now is kind of windy and a little bit cooler. By the way, on New Year's, they shoot fireworks off along the mall on separate buildings. They're synchronized together. So it's a little bit of a Times Square celebration, but not quite as elaborate as theirs. Oh, so they celebrate New Year. In, oh, okay, that's, yeah. that's cool. So they set one of the uh, one of the charges is on one of the hotels. The other one's on the other end, but they're synced together. Uh -huh. They do the same, the same fireworks. So everyone lines up the car. Lastly, we visited the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. The cathedral is known for its stunning Gothic Revival architecture. It was designed by architect Leon Cocard and construction began in 1902. Our video has come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.